Let's go to Tungsten. the cube. Tungsten is Tungsten an inflation time. hedge, maybe. We like the we like the cube. Oh, look at the people. animation. We like the cube. <laughs> this is the cube NFT, first of all. So, what a couple weeks ago, today? a couple weeks ago, the cube started popping into consciousness among crypto mm-hmm. traders and other crypto Twitter superstars. Danny Nelson, CoinDesk reporter, was among the first to tell the unvarnished truth about the cube. And it's since created sort of a follow-on effect. What we're looking at here is an NFT of the largest tungsten cube to be produced by Midwest Tungsten Service. They are uh, an outfit in Illinois that has been really riding this wave of tungsten interest. But the thing about tungsten that's crazy is that it's surprisingly dense. It's really super duper heavy. So um, this, they're trying to make the biggest cube that they can make, but they can't ship it. So they're trying to sell it as an NFT, and the NFT comes with like visitation rights to your <laughs> mega cube. And this NFT uh, is currently going for about two hundred thousand dollars. I think two hundred thousand dollars is like kind of around like the value of the materials involved and stuff. So could be like kind of a deal at that price point. <laughs> but it's rights. become it's become this like status <laughs> symbol of. Uh, of crypto Twitter superstars to the point where today we saw a Wall Street Journal story <laughs> trying to play catch up to the Cube story. And it's really fascinating. They did get a picture of beloved crypto Twitter personality Niraj of Coin Center gazing lovingly at his Cube at, in his kitchen <laughs> uh, on his kitchen <laughs> island. So, photo. anyway, I don't it know, is a lovely. great photo. It's a There's like a lot photo. of sexual tension in that photo. There, well, a, yeah, there's some people are some photo. people are. Well, I don't know. It's 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 a pure photo of someone appreciating their their tungsten art. So, um, <laughs> it's good stuff. Art. It's really interesting to see um, that you know. Again, this we talk about sort of meme value. What's your meme strategy in crypto? All of a sudden, the element on the periodic table that goes by the letter W is also benefiting from some meme power. Uh, in the real world as well. So, uh, Will, I don't know if you've been following the tungsten phenomenon, which feels silly to say, um, but I'm very curious for your thoughts on the cube. I'm just bummed I know you'd get one earlier. I was looking at this when Coindesk first reported on it, and I was like, oh, maybe I should buy one. It's kind of like Shiba Inu. I was like, maybe I should buy this now. It's too late. Like The price has gone up a ton to get these. I think that's been a big storyline for a lot of people is acquiring a cube is just more and more costly. Uh, Nick Carter has been tweeting about this for like the last three years, which is like another strange and fascinating point about this whole meme. It's like <laughs> it's been around for years and then it's just like really blew up in the last six weeks. And I don't understand why. <laughs> Lastly, I love that this is a 2,000 pound cube. That's all I have though. Yeah, it's a ton. <laughs> it's a it's a, it's a literal ton. It's a ton of a cube. <laughs> uh, I'll I'll kick it up to you, Davy. I just I I saw the the cube on Twitter and I didn't understand what was going on. So Zach, thank you for helping me just a bit. And I think this is ridiculous and fun and shows again how the crypto community can really just gather around anything, and I love them for that. But Naomi, I'll kick it up to you. I think it's, um, it's I don't know, I find it hilarious. So it, we had like this Twitter joke where um, I think it was Niraj put out an article saying crypto traders to blame for global tungsten shortage. And then that further spew, uh, like fueled this frenzy. And uh, and just kind of talking about like in response to that article, um, he says, you know, I will take credit a little bit for the recent surge. Uh, I think it triggered to the rest of crypto Twitter. They're like, all right, we're doing something now. We're doing a thing. We're all buying these cubes. I love the way he phrased that because that's exactly what it's like when you see these things. You're like, oh, well, guess we're doing a thing. Let's all do the thing. And it happens all the time. This iterative culture we now have, whether it's with TikTok, where just someone does a weird dance and suddenly you have like millions of people doing a weird dance and they're just copying it. And it's just a thing. We iterate on things. It's this meme culture. And I love it. I'm here for it. I, I think it's really beautiful to watch these things spontaneously emerge. And the time and thing, whether it was Nick Carter who created this or what it was, you know, was just collective mindset of crypto. It's kind of fun to watch. 